Hi, welcome to Artsy. I'm your host, Bill Horn. My guest today is Dori Papamaditriou. Dori is an artist, a former curator for the Noise Museum of Art, and the founder and executive director of Mud Girl Studios in Atlantic City. Dori, welcome to Artsy. Hey, Bill. Nice to see you. Dory, you were on my original TV show a few years ago, and back then Mud Girls was pretty much brand new. So how long have you been doing Mud Girls, and how did it get started? Mud Girls started in 2016, and um, uh, started out a little bit slowly uh, with a few people, doing a little bit of outreach uh, with Clay at a day shelter. And we've moved into a full studio. We're working... Uh, almost five days a week and um, in production most of those days. So we've come a long way since we started. We've, we've come a long way from the initial idea. So we're, uh, we're pretty happy. You're the designer for Mud Girls. Exactly what does that role involve? I was trained as a graphic designer and worked in um, communications for uh, many years. Um, but as a designer, I feel like that those skills translate over many different medium. And that's kind of where I bring my skills as a designer into the ceramic studio uh, in terms of form and shape and a lot of surface design as well. Um, other works that I've done, it, it's kind of the same. Um, the design elements, uh, across all kinds of media. So I've done paintings, I've done um, mosaics, and um, uh, I think a creative person likes to dabble into a lot of things, and I think that's what I've done. And a few years ago, we were asked to create a video for Mud Girls, which is on your website, and I'd like to show that video now. Mud Girl Studios is located in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Uh, we're on the second floor of St. Michael's Church. It's important that we're in Atlantic City because there are a lot of at-risk women here who can benefit from our sense of community and our sense of bonding, creativity, and empowerment. When I called on Monday, Dory explained to me um, that they did pottery in a studio at St. Michael's. And I was very confused, but I was excited to see. So when I came in on a Wednesday, I was really surprised. I did not know. Dory showed me everything and I was in awe. And she said, what do you think? And I said, I love it. And she said, well, do you want to stay? And I said, yeah. She said, take your coat off. come together into the studio and we sort of have created a community. We are a family once we're here, you know. We um, talk to each other like sisters. <laughs> Dory may say, is everything all right with y'all? We say, yeah, everything's all right. You know, is my hair done? We're women, <laughs> you know. I did not know that I was going to be getting paid. So when I came into it, I thought I was just basically volunteering. The women earn an hourly wage. So not only are they empowered by making, they're also empowered by making an extra income. When you're homeless, you don't have no freedom. The pottery is truly a big, huge help. And I have my freedom back. When you create something outside of yourself and you have an object, you can say, I made this. This is validating who I am. It's an object that says I exist. With our minds, we can mend things together. With our soul and spirit, we can grab things that we wanted to do, but she gave us a mission. Through making the pieces, I feel like we connect the maker and the viewer. And that's a beautiful thing. Um, now we educate the, the end user about the people that actually made the work. I thought I didn't have any talents. I was just telling somebody, like, I'm not talented at anything. And I finally found my talent, I think. <laughs> I think I'm good at it.
We loved the fact that Dory, as an artist, could provide a beautiful component of our building that would really last for the, the life of the building. But at the same time, she worked with local women in the community and from homeless shelters that we felt was a really important way to express that artistry and would be a nice complement to a project that really is all about partnerships and really working within the community. I'm an artist, a potter. I'm, I don't know. I don't know what to call myself. I'm a mud girl. You are an accomplished artist, and I know you once did illustrations for children's books, but that's not your main art form. I know you're a designer, but for example, the stuff you created for Atlantic Hair, you've done quite a bit for them. How would you describe that art? Uh, I think everything I do um, in all kinds of different medium, I tend to like to tell a story or um, communicate uh, some meaning. And I do the same kind of images um, across different medium. Um, I love to work with my hands and, and explore different mediums. I think that's what um, I've been able to do with Atlantic Air and all my different, all my work. Um, my books are uh, the same. Um, I paint uh, uh, as well as, you know, design in ceramics, in glass, in wood even. So. With as busy as you are with Mud Girls, do you have much time for your own art anymore? Uh, no, that that's really, Mud Girls is uh, really the center of my world. And uh, being the designer of Mud Girls, I, I am able to make um, that the area where I can put myself into the design. Um, I also, of course I used uh, my, my, my team, my staff, and we work together on designs, but a lot of it comes from um, my direction and uh, sort of uh, my aesthetic, my experience. Um, so I think that's how I'm able to still be creative, um, even though it's not exclusively my own, I do have my, my stamp on it, let's say. So I got your last newsletter, which I found very interesting, by the way. You do a great newsletter. I really do enjoy them. And the headline, I think the first headline was, the studio is quiet, but light prevails. What did you mean by that? It's, it's a little bit literal and it's a little bit um, uh, abstract as well. I mean, the studio is full of light. It's a beautiful space um, and it's quiet. Um, you know, we're not there. Um, we're not there working in the studio, um, unfortunately, these days during the, the pandemic. Um, but I think that the idea that the light prevails is that we're always looking to um, be stronger, be better. And we know that that studio will be filled again um, with our voices and our work. Um, and it, it's sort of waiting for us. The light is there. It's waiting for us. It's giving us strength to, to come back and, um, and, and fill fill the place with, with um, spirit. So even during this pandemic, you've managed to pay your people, and I think that's pretty amazing. Um, how difficult has it been to make sure they get paid, and how important is that? Well, I think, you know, I mean, what Mud Girls is, it's a mission to help women. It just merely uses uh, the arts and the, the studio as a means to do that. Um, so. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure we fulfill our mission, and that is to help these women um, that have been so committed to Mud Girl Studios. Um, it's been difficult. Um, you know, I'm scared. Uh, I don't know if we're, uh, you know, how long we can do it. I, I think um, we will. Um, and I think we just, we're just being creative. We're trying to find other ways uh, to, um, to, reach people uh, to make products that through this pandemic that people may still want. Um, we know that people really want to do things that matter. Um, people want something good. They want to support things that, that, um, that are good. And, um, you know, as long as we keep moving and reaching out to people, I mean, 
we've been really lucky. We're, we're really blessed that uh, the people want to be there for us through this. Speaking of products, uh, I read about products called Hope Hearts. Can you tell us a little bit about them? Well, the Hope Hearts uh, are something that we had worked on in the studio and uh, feel very appropriate right now. Um, and so uh, making these Hope Hearts and every time you make one, every time you roll one out and you read the word it, and um, it, it just, uh, embodies that feeling of we'll get through this. So we made, um, I don't know, a couple hundred hearts, I guess, and um, we have them out there and they're a reminder that hope prevails and um, they are available on our website and um, for people to, to support us and then also keep, keep with them, keep, keep close to their space and, and give them hope as well. Do you have any commissions that are still in the works or have you pretty much finished them up? Yes, we do actually. Um, we have a few tile projects that we're working on. Um, interestingly, you know, some uh, construction is still happening. Um, some has been postponed, so we're not really sure where we are um, in, the, in the stream of that, but, uh, but we do have some projects um, lined up. Uh, some have been postponed. Um, some things, you know, may not happen at all. Um, but, uh, you know, we're just um, looking, looking ahead, hoping that uh, we'll get through this, <laughs> like everyone. So speaking of looking ahead, um, what do you see for the future of Mud Girls? I know there's a lot of challenges that you weren't expecting right now. Um, so far, you've done a lot to face those challenges. So what do you see for the future of Mud Girls? Well, I think you know, we're, we're kind of using a little bit of this downtime as a planning, uh, planning for what we want to be and what we want to do. Um, uh, and that, that is uh, perhaps doing more social media, perhaps marketing that more nationally. Um, and uh, I think that's where we see ourselves. We want to get uh, a broader audience. Um, we, we've, we've shipped pieces to California. We've shipped pieces to um, you know the West Coast, uh, down to Florida. So we, we're 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 branching out, which is which is wonderful. Um, so the more people hear about us, the better. And uh, I think that's that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and um, try and grow. Uh, I, I, our plans are still the same. Um, we're staying the course. We, we want to help more women, basically. I'm, we're doing all this so that we can get more women into the studio. We can pay more women and we can improve their lives. So, I mean, that's the mission and we're going to continue to do that as best we can. Dory, I congratulate you on what you've done so far and I wish you all the luck in the world for the future. This has been Artsy. I'm Bill Horn. Thanks for watching.